Himalaya in all its mystic charms and myriad flora and fauna is home to rich avian diversity. The vibrant life forms in the montane, alpine and subalpine vegetation of Himalaya is a treat for wildlife enthusiasts, researchers and photographers. This is a story of seeking some of the most magnificent of birds from different habitats in Himalaya and an attempt to draw attention towards a seemingly harmless activity that may have serious ecological impacts. In the last decade there has been a tremendous increase in photographers interested in shooting wildlife especially birds important documentation made by birders and bird photographers has now resulted in large databases like eBird which has helped us understand the distribution of various species and identify the potentially threatened ones filming himalayan birds is a real challenge for a photographer given the dense vegetation that camouflages them and their obvious agility More recently bird photographers are using structures called hides that provide them a facility to watch and photograph birds in an incognito mode. Filming birds from hides may seem very friendly to wildlife in the first instance but it may be hiding a bitter truth. Most hides provide food baits to the birds. Specific food items like bird seeds, papaya, paneer and in some places even meat is used to lure and attract charismatic species of birds if they remain out of bounds even after offering food bird calls and mating calls are played to attract them studies have shown that artificial feeding to any form of wildlife not only changes their natural diet and appetite but also hampers their ability to forage in natural habitats it can alter behavioral patterns and induce aggression in individuals birds habituated to easy food are left unfed during the lean tourist seasons when the hides are not visited apart from these ecological impacts artificial feeding in hides may also have a legal standing the wildlife protection act 1972 identifies capturing snaring trapping driving or baiting any wild or captive animal as a process of hunting with equal legal implications on the offender and so it is a choice of all wildlife enthusiasts researchers photographers and filmmakers to identify hide and bait photography as what it is an ecological menace and to reject it in the interest of nature and wildlife conservation seeking in wild or being served in the hide we make our choice before it's too late